and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. Let's go ahead and start off by ending turn since we're... Oh, I maybe should have moved that one. Anyways, what we're looking at now is the war against Prussia. The Prussians have attacked us. They demand 5,000 pitiful bastard. Out of... Mm, you know what? I don't want another... Bloody, you know what? You go through the snow, you bastard. If it were so that you would invade me, I don't think you will. But you can go through the snow and die there if you so wish to invade me. The Prussians have declared war, as I say, and that is the main focus right now. Although, I do have quite a few armies down in uh, peace treaty with Russia. The Russians want peace. And I will go ahead and accept that because uh, with the Prussians joining the war, I uh, need some peace and quiet and I don't want Russian armies turning up going through my lands. So that's good. So now we're th the main struggle on land then is... Uh, the Ottomans and the Prussians, or I should say the Prussians and the Ottomans, in that order. The Ottomans are advancing on the Greeks, which unfortunately sent their troops to actually fight them on the bridge. Now, of course, holding them off on the bridge could have worked. Oh, look at that, they even bypassed them. Oh, the um, garrison force destroyed the Turkish army that attacked. I thought the Greeks were gone. But maybe all that money and technology I've given them actually helped them to repel the Turks. The Spanish Navy, I've... I've oh! The Spanish... They have two navies. They just loaded up an army. Maybe they're going to attack the English. Which would be very, very nice. We've recruited two... Uh, two ships out here. Unfortunately though, they're sort of stuck there as we cannot really move them. Oh wait, the Russians join? Oh. So, I guess the Russians dislike us too much. I don't know. For some reason they joined in again. I guess maybe someone pressured them into joining in again. Anyways, we're holding these two armies here just to replenish. Oh, we actually have four armies here to replenish. This one, however, could actually move up to uh, Moldovia to be part of the uh, advanced troop there. Not that good replenishment range, so Elan, which has suffered more, will stay on this side. Maybe we should have this guy on this side as well. We're not going to advance on the Prussians through this front during winter. The Prussian was stupid enough to attack us during winter. And, uh, well, we won't advance. We'll wait for them. And, unfortunately, even if I march now, I don't think I will be able to save the Greeks. So the Greeks will be on their own. Our target, however, we probably should... We can move quite a bit closer here, though. So we can be ready to march into Romania and then down to the, um, the Ottoman capital. Oh, that guy cleverly blocks the bridge. Okay, they have nothing there. But we should be able to defeat them and take uh, Constantinople. So we got that covered. Then, do I have any reinforcements marching along here? No, we don't. Then, it's the forces which are gathering in Belgium. The Belgian army will go ahead and strike the Prussians. Let's go ahead and march up close first. See if there's anything close by. Doesn't look like it, so we'll advance and attack August von Gneisenau. And then we'll continue on, take Oldensburg, or maybe free Oldensburg actually. Uh, as to not anger uh, 
the rest of Europe. And then, yes, yeah, someone wanted me to give some regions to Romania. I want to see first. Um, right now, they don't seem like that good of a power. I mean, the, I guess I could give them stuff to make them uh, not as feeble as they are now. Or like the look that the, the guy is, looks like he's got he's wearing a bag or something, and. He's got a receding hairline. He looks he looks like random mass man they just put in charge there. Um let's see. Yes, that was one thing. And then also was tr stop trade with England, sort of what Napoleon tried to in real life is to strangle England by forcing everyone to stop trade with him. And two nations that broke that was Sweden. And Portugal. Now I actually got Portugal to stop trading with England by giving them money and then telling them to embargo England. So they are actually embargoing England. But England still has a lot of trade partners. Quite a few small ones like Mecklenburg, uh, Rigio di Napoli, Denmark. Denmark, I'm probably going to have to give them quite a lot of money to get that through. The Ottomans are about to get crushed. Uh, Kingdom of Sicily, there's a few small here that I probably can force to stop, but uh, I don't, I'm not sh entirely sure if that's worth it. The big ones are like Prussia and you know what, we can see maybe how much England makes. So through here, England makes about 10,000. Now I'm don't, not entirely sure where most of that money comes from. We can see here that, um, let's see, Great Britain makes 2,000 with the Ottomans. Great Britain makes about 2,000 with uh, Rigio di Napoli. They make about uh, 2,000 with Sicily. And they make about mm, 2,000 of each nation then. So if we could strangle all of these trades, uh, trade routes of the British, uh, that would be rather s good, I must say. So that will be diplomatical, diplomatic stuff to be done. Anyways, let's go ahead and attack. The Prussians. A lot of Landwehr. Prussian Musketeers. We've got Light Company, Fusiliers. Uh, not that much cavalry. Quite an experienced general, Wagnesa now. But uh, one thing they lack is they lack cannons. Which I have. Uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I have more than them. And then I've got better cavalry. Um. And I hope better troops as well, since we got the uh, part of the old guard here. The middle guard, I think, or the young guard or something like that. I can't remember. Someone actually told me in the comment section, but um, that was a while ago. So I am not sure as to um, what the origin was, but I think it was like... The young guard or the middle guard, part of the old guard. I'm not entirely sure if we. Um oh, I'm not entirely sure if we've actually seen them on the field of battle. I don't think we have. So I'll take some time, extra time, to uh, go in close. And take a look at them. Where are they? So they're part right now of the Belgian army. They look very much like sort of um, young guard, a young guard unit. So we'll uh, keep them in reserves, possibly. Right. There we have those two units. Cannons. Quite nice elevation here in front, ready to uh, pound the enemy. 
Then the line infantry will follow up behind. And uh, then we've got these guys as reserves. And then the cavalry. We have two light and two uh, heavy. Well, a heavy and a medium. So they'll be backing up the cavalry on the flanks. And there we go. We'll, we'll start off with uh, battery bombardment. I think we're actually hitting the... Maybe the, it's the enemy general over there. No, what was it? Yeah, it was the general staff. The cannon started bombarding. We can't actually see the enemy. They've got quite an interesting defense here. They got a house there. I mean, if, if a player were defending this, he would have uh, quite a nice defensive position. He's got the ridge and the town and he's got some houses and he could deploy he's deployed a few defenses so that could have been quite nasty anyways after the second uh, fire here we'll oh it's because we can't see anything right advance the line then and it will advance the reserve about halfway and then these guys will stand just behind the cannons. Oh, just as the men. Was that really necessary? Because the general turned up. You felt you need to fire and shoot two of your own men. It's bombarding the general. That's really not necessary, so hold your fire. What we want to do... Ah, yes. Those are the ones we want to fire upon. Enemy cavalry and infantry. Right, we need to advance the cavalry as well, don't we? The enemy is spread out on a very long line, I must say. Rather than go to uh, defend the town. Okay, now the cannons can open fire and target the uh, Prussian formations. The Prussians though, because of the terrain, I mean, I'd I'd hope there were a load of Prussians. There's a lot of actually places where the Prussians can hide in sort of the hollows of the ground. And I don't think our artillery has done any real damage yet. The Prussians come out in force the main line will halt and prepare right along here. And then two cavalry units will be stationed on the flanks. These guys will hold their fire, same with these. And then they will be positioned on the flanks. The first fire is commenced by the 50th Regiment against a uh, Landwehr unit over on the left side. We've got enemy uh, Hussars coming up. With more Prussians along the line. Fire is being commenced all along the line. Let's have the cavalry move up a bit. Looking at the enemy, they, uh, yeah, it's it's good that I placed my uh, my reserves in the center. Enemy cavalry is closing in at a very slow pace. We'll form square, and then we will have the light cavalry charging them, and then we have the Belgian uh, dragoons sweeping around, getting the landwehr over there. So before these guys were actually able to charge. Or whatever the hell they were trying to do. They got attacked. And these guys stopped firing. Then the Belgian uh, Dragoons will fall in. The Prussians are pushing forwards. Straight into our fire. This unit has suffered quite a lot. But overall it looks to be going well. We've got enemy cavalry coming up here. 
the Gerasiers will push in there, the light infantry will come up behind, we've got an armed citizen unit in the, the back. This unit's gonna need aid. We're gonna have to push Our up. Running, yeah, we got a unit running. We actually got a unit running over here. Where the Prussians successfully broke through the line. Right, our cavalry, have we sent off? They're not sent off yet. We've actually got, oh, we are, all men along here has given up. But on this side, on the right side, we're holding still, sort of, ish. These units will fall back. And we'll take up position like this. The will, cavalry will continue in to the militia units. We've got the uh, Chasseur a pied and the Belgian Grenadiers holding in reserve, forcing the Prussians back, hopefully. Cavalry is sweeping around over here. These two, the Fon Square, need to leave we their squares general, and then come up strike. behind. Von now was killed in action and uh, we need these two to attack the Prussians the Prussian the Prussian attack is falling apart the men are routing all across the field we had find quite a few men flee as well but victory will be ours the Prussians are retreating Go through the center. The cavalry over here is not really being able to break through. This unit needs to get up on this ridge because we've got Prussians coming in. And how about you come up on the side there to deal with them. You guys fill that gap. I think it's down to the cavalry to deal the final blows. You two will switch around. Go ahead and go through these. Charge, men! And have the cuirassier. Oh, there was actually a Prussian cavalry unit. The Prussian dragoons were one of the last units to break. Um, now we have some units that are rallying here and actually uh, formed into square. Cavalry will chase the enemy straight through town and this square will be shot to pieces by the 51st line infantry that is uh, pushing death into the rank of this unit. They cannot drop this square though since uh, our cavalry is too close and so they are forced to hold their square as they are being shot to pieces. Last unit, the 10th, the 10th um, Fusilier unit is the last one to give away. Oh wait, what's this? A glorious victory, sir. Well, is soon to be yours. Where did these guys come from? Up the bloody forest. I didn't see anything about no re enemy reinforcements. These aren't reinforcements anyways, these are units that have retreated, but have turned up behind us for some reason. Very strange that they've turned up in these locations. Can this cannon possibly turn and fire on them? I'm not sure. These guys are going to get broken. This unit... Okay, let's get this unit to uh, get rid of these Prussians. Let's have no. Let's have the cavalry first um, gather up again before they go ahead and try to attack the enemy. I think you can close in since you're not under fire. Get running. Ah, uh, look at that. And a whole cluster of Prussian units have turned back. Come around. He 
keep up the fire. The light cavalry of the Belgian army. I mean, only the sight of them and the fact that the enemy had fought quite a lot before this was enough to send the enemy away. We're going to let the Prussians come uh, back. Ah, they're, they're one by one breaking just by seeing the, uh, the numbers. Only the cavalry stand. And it's the Prussian Dragoons that try to fight back. But um, seeing the numbers, I do think they're going to run. I think these guys will run as well. I can't fire in through the town like that because there's too many houses in the way. But all enemy units are now routing. And it's up to the cavalry to sweep through. And then into that square. The cavalry is quite tired, so it's going to take a while for them to slowly make their way there. But the uh, square, as we can see, is being overrun by friendly dragoons passing by through it. And then look at how spread out the square is. And they do not have an officer or their flag left. They are returning fire, though. Come on, cavalry. Charge, men, charge. I think the pr these Prussians will give way rather quickly once. Uh, the units actually start to uh, fight each other. What I can do is I can draw this unit back. I can form it up and we can fire into the square. And then we can have just the other units standing back. We can have this one turning up as well and firing into the square. Give up, Russians! You have nowhere to go! Okay, open fire them. You lost your officer and everything. Now open fire on the Prussians. There we go. Now just because they stood and fought in the square... Oh. We might as well end. Heroic victory. Let's see. 3-3 three, three, rows. Something like that. That's nice. Let's see uh, what kind of... Uh, let's see. How many did I lose? 200 I lost to uh, friendly fire. But we crushed the enemy army of 4,340 men. And... I can go ahead and free this nation, or I can peacefully occupy it. Um, how about we liberate it? What did we get then? Duchy of Berg reserve line. Duchy of Berg. Interesting, so we get special units from this. We got two special units from this area. Then we can take two of these. Wait, are the are these guys any good? Is the question. Hey. You know what? It doesn't really m matter, does it? Forty-three morale. Forty-three morale. What did these guys hey. have? Thirty-two, thirty-seven. They're not that good, actually. 
the Dutch sheep. But uh, they're an interesting unit, so we'll push them back here. And a new nation arise. The replenishment rate in this new region is kind of crap, though, so we will fall back. And we will hold on the bridge. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see if we can... First of all, here's a gift to Leopold I. Then we want trade, which we get. And then military access, demand. We already have infinite, so since they're a protectorate. Joining wars. No, not just yet. Probably should give them a bit of money as well. We'll offer them a sum of 25,000 francs to uh, get an army going. I wonder if this counts towards me controlling. Because I need to control, let's see. Is uh, Cliff's Mark part of this? Doesn't actually say, but I, d I don't think it is actually. But that's nice. We got these units. Um, let's go ahead and turn. Ah, oh, yes, this army. I forgot about that one. The one in Italy. See what Great Britain does. They've been recruiting in Hanover. So we can imagine that they've got Hanoverian troops. King's German Legion and the such. A lot of Russians are turning up. This is not good. But they're gonna have to go through a snow covered Hungary to get anywhere. Oh, the Greeks are actually being able to fight back against the Ottomans. Silly Dutch. What are they going to do? Are they going to attack my German protectorate? I think... I don't... I'm not sure if I should fear for the Greeks' independence. Because they seem to be fighting back quite well at the Turkish forces. Are they going to... They're going to... The Spaniards are going to land an army. In England, possibly. Where are they going with that? They could go somewhere else, by the way. Could go to Sweden or Russia, maybe. Path blocked. A lot of troops recruit. Corsica and then a lot of these reserves. So we can switch out the building constructed. Not a single one. We have uh, the possibility of striking at Oldensburg. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. And it's only crap commanded by Karl Friedrich Henrich. So we'll auto save. And then I'll auto resolve. Giving me a victory. And liberating Aldersburg. Which gives me uh, no special unit more than Confederation Militia. And then we will turn back. With these units. A new nation arises, Oldensburg, brave soldier, attacking general. Let's go ahead and make some deals with Oldensburg. They do not like us. Present a state gift. We cannot trade with them because uh, they're landlocked. Apparently I can't trade through friendly territory. But you're a protectorate of mine, so you will shut up and do as I say. And you will definitely not start trade with the English. Can I already go ahead and trade embargo? No. They have to stop trading with someone. Right. So we've created two areas there. I wonder, did Aldersburg... Was it part of my plan on whatever? Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. 
But anyways, I think this will be it for this episode. Next one, we uh, hopefully can push on... Uh, oh, they've got quite a lot on the um, English. We're going to send a few of these forward to uh, go in as a replenishment for the army up there. And then these reserves, these we will switch out these armies or these troops against the reserves. They will take up their position. And then we got more reserves coming up. Or not reserves, but conscripts, I should say. The conscripts will be switched out for the line infantry or the line infantry will be switched out for the conscripts I should say and we'll put the conscripts up here since the enemy is not really making any moves to attack which means that I um, can do this without fearing for my troops and we've got more of those coming up to resupply yes and then we can attack the English. But I don't want to find in a fort battle though since uh, those are kind of buggy. Right, this army, they got all their men. So start marching. You're supposed to join down here and join these two. So uh, your start of goal is there. Right, this army is still... Let's see which one is worse off. You know what? I think we're well enough, so let's go ahead and march. And start to march on Istanbul to break the Ottomans. Don't sabotage, but infiltrate that uh, area. keep an eye on that. Napoleon and his armies will not march through until spring comes. And there we have it, gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!